Similarly, the butterflies in the group A, B, and C also represent a clade. So therefore, in this cladogram, butterflies in the group A, B, and C represent a clade, and butterflies in the group D, E, F, and G also represent a clade, which again is also known as a monophyletic group. Notice that each clade consists of all the organisms of a, that are descendants of a common ancestor. So it includes the ancestral species of the node and all the species or branches, branches that arise from that node or ancestor. Notice that the nodes, which represent the common ancestor, are always included in each clade. Sometimes the nodes may not be circled, but note that they are always included when we talk about clades. If we look at this cladogram, the entire cladogram can be considered a clade because it includes all the descendants of a common ancestor. In this case, it would include all the descendant butterflies from a common ancestral butterfly, which is of course represented by the node. So if we consider this cladogram and label the tips as A, B, and C, this diagram represents the hypothesis that when we are considering the species A, B, and C, species B and C share a closer relationship than either B or C do with A. This is because a more recent common ancestor has given rise to B and C, and therefore they are more closely related. Remember that the vertical axis of a cladogram represents the concept of time. Keeping this in mind, we see that B and C have speciated more recently, whereas species A branched off some time ago, which is why species B and C are more closely related to each other. So again, when we are considering species A, B, and C, remember that A and B and A and C are equally closely related. So A and B and A and C are equally closely related. Let's illustrate the previous concept with a real life example. The concept that we just went over is similar to the concept of a human family tree. A brother and a sister are more closely related to each other than either of them is to their cousin. So, the brother and sister are both equally closely related to their cousin. The order in which the brother and sister are drawn on the cladogram does not matter. So, even if we switch the locations of the brother and sister, the inherent relationship represented by this cladogram will remain the same. The brother and sister will still be equally closely related to their cousin, regardless of where they are placed on the cladogram. So, remember this. A is as closely related to B as it is to C. Therefore, if we are looking at both of these phylogenetic trees, we will see that they are both equivalent regardless of the arrangement of the letters B and C. Even though the branches may rotate, the underlying branching relationships do not change. Okay, so let's now try a self-test. The following six questions will test some of the content presented in this animation. Each question will pause briefly before revealing the answer. If you need more time to think, make sure to hit the pause button before the animation progresses and automatically reveals the answer. Question number one. What is the purpose of phylogenetics? A. To describe the tree of life b. To study evolutionary relationships among groups of organisms c. To construct accurate phylogenies d. None of the above and e. All of the above The correct answer is e. All of the above Question number 2. What is a cladogram also known as? a. Spiderweb b. Genetic tree C. Phylogenetic tree, D. Cladophylogeny, or E. None of the above. The correct answer is C. Phylogenetic tree. Note that cladophylogeny is not even a real word. 
Question number three. Identify the label parts of the following cladogram. A, B, and C. Part A represents the node. Part B represents the basal node because it is the lowest node on this phylogenetic tree. And part C represents a branch. Question number four. Which of the following groups represent a clade, also known as a monophyletic group? Option A is species A, B, and C. Option B is species D, E, and F. Option C is species D, E, F, and G. Option D is species A, B, and D. Option E are both options A and B. Option F is both options A and C. And option G is all of the above. The correct answer is F, which includes options A and option C. Option A included the species A, B, and C, and option C included the species D, E, F, and G. Remember that a clade is a group of organisms composed of an ancestor and all of its descendants. So in this cladogram, A, B, and C comprise one clade, and the species D, E, F, and G comprise a second clade. So therefore, both of these are clades or monophyletic groups. Question number five. Identify the cladogram which is equivalent to the following that is in the box. Make sure to look at all the letters and see which ones are switched and when the actual branching relationships remain the same. So, the correct answer is this one in the box. All the other answers are incorrect because the branches are switched in ways so that the inherent branching relationships are changed. In this cladogram, although we have switched the positions of D and E as well as F and G, the branching relationships have not changed. Think about the example with the brother, sister, and cousin. So the two trees, phylogenetic trees, and the boxes are equal. Prove it for yourself. Question number six. How many clades can you find in this cladogram? It actually depends on where you look. Keep in mind that trees can be nested within trees. Try to find as many as you can. And identify the basal nodes while you're at it. Here's a hint. There are more than three clades. So, the correct answer is that six different clades can be found in this cladogram. And the basal node for each is labeled as BN. So here's the first clade, here's the second clade, here's the third clade, here's the fourth clade, here's the fifth clade, and here's the sixth clade. So again, six different clades can be found on this cladogram. Keep in mind that a species is a monophyletic group in and of itself, so technically we could also count each tip as a clade as well. This concludes the first animation of phylogenetics. Stay tuned for more.